guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to share with you my favorite makeup items for June. Some items I have been using for a while and some I just barely started, but these are my very top favorite items from skincare to makeup to hair products. So let's just go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm not filming in my usual filming spot because one, my baby is sleeping and my filming room is right next to where she naps. I didn't want to have to try and be quiet. And second of all, this lighting is just too perfect to not film in here. So my very number one favorite item ever, I really mean that, favorite item ever is this CoverGirl Outlast what is it? CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. I have been using this for like a month and it is my favorite. I probably own like 12 different foundations and I try them and I like them, but there's things I like about them, things I don't. There is not one thing I don't like about this foundation. It is, it is not very expensive. It is super full coverage. It lasts all day. It's not shiny. Um, it is perfect. So if you guys are looking for a new foundation, go buy this. It's super cheap and you will love it and then you will thank me and you'll just love it. It definitely belongs in my June favorites and July and September and August. Okay, half the video is gonna be talking about that one. Next of all, I have this Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I've only used this for about a week and I love it. I just get it damp and then dry it off as much as I can and then dab the foundation on my face and then just like pat it in. I don't know if it's the makeup or this, but the combination of these two lately have made my skin look amazing. I'm actually using both of them right now you guys can tell um, but I love it I think maybe just this instead of the brush makes it really just absorb into your skin and I am a huge fan also drugstore I got this at Smith's and it was like not even ten bucks maybe like seven or eight so this is another one you guys definitely should try out we are moving right along the next one you guys oh, I love all these items so much I have talked about this before, so if you guys have been following my channel, you may have seen this before, but my hair is really thin and it gets oily really quickly. So I have tried so many dry shampoos and I feel like all of them leave my hair almost like sticky still or like you can tell that there's stuff in it. It's not, like it doesn't really improve the oiliness that's already there, if that makes sense. I don't know, if you guys have my same hair texture and have tried this before, you might know what I'm talking about, but I love this. It's no drought dry shampoo. Um, I got it at Lush and it is amazing. Literally you guys, I've been using this for like probably twice a week for like six months. Seriously, six months. Look, it's at the very top still. I don't know how it does it, but I don't know how, like how is it that full still? I use this all the time. Anyways, this is amazing, amazing. You just like open it up and tap it on and then I leave it while I do my makeup so it can really absorb and then I just like rub it in and it guys has saved my life so many times so many times oh, I love this okay so go get this too <laughs> next is L'Oreal Revitalift night cream I have not used a night cream like ever almost until I use this. I would just wash my face and go to bed and then in the morning put like some lotion on, but I would never use a night cream and I don't know why I didn't and someone said that I should so I tried it out and I love it. We went on a family trip one night and I forgot to take this with me and my skin was just so, I could tell a huge difference from not using it. It was like dried and it was just like not soft and I need this. So now every night before I go to bed, I wash my face and I put this on it take my makeup off, wash my face, and I put this on, and it's amazing. My skin, my skin's not really dry, my skin's combination, but when I put it on, it just like soaks it up, and I can tell a huge difference. Huge difference, you guys. This was about 20 bucks, but I also got this at the drugstore, so I recommend this, especially if you guys have never used a night cream before. This is, this is your product, girl. I have one last item. I'm trying not to make this video super long because I want to just be short, sweet, like some items to try out. Um, I kind of do have a theme, I guess, is like drugstore. Maybe I'm kind of cheap and that's like <laughs> the main stuff that I buy. But um, I want you guys to be able to just buy these, try them out, and just love them. So this last one is just a nail polish. It is Sinful Colors. And the color is, what is it? Sale La Vie. Sale La Vie. Anyways, I love it because it's kind of a different color. But the main thing I love is that it is not expensive. This is $2. And I am a firm believer that nail polish should not cost like six, seven, eight, ten, twelve dollars. Like 
it should not cost that much. So this one is $2. I got it at Target and I love it. So I'm going to be going back and getting more um, of the Sinful Color selection because I love them and they last forever. I've had this on my toes for at least a week and it looks like I just barely put it on. I love it, love it, and it's cheap. So those are my favorite products for June. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Try them out if you haven't already. I promise you will love them. Comment down below once you do and let me know how you liked them. And thank you for watching. Um, I post videos every Friday, so go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And thank you for watching again. Bye. Love you guys. Jeez. Okay. Beauty items of June 2015. Why did I say the year? Of course. And it's not even 2015. That's like a double, double fail. Hmm. Don't say that. I already said that, Alyssa. No cleavage, girl. No cleavage. I'm a mama.